Good morning, my dear students. How are you? Uh, let's start a new lesson in Unit 3. We are going to learn about some new grammar. Please open your pupil's book page 35 and your activity book page 29 okay we are going to learn the present simple passive okay the present simple passive the objectives we are going to use the new vocabulary and uh, practice them in the present simple passive to make sentences from our own in the present simple passive so please pay attention with me let's go first let's think and let's notice the difference between the 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 next two examples okay think well please number one my brother washes our car every day my brother washes our car every day number two our car is washed every day our car is washed every day what the difference between example number one and example number two? Can you think and tell me? Let's read them again. My brother, according to this picture, according to this picture, my brother washes our car every day. Our car is washed every day. Okay. Have you got? the point let's move to the next slide the present simple passive what do we mean by passive voice what is meant by passive voice we use passive voice when the subject of the sentence is not important to be mentioned or when we don't know who does the action who is the the subject who is who is the doer of the verb so we focus on the action itself again we use the passive voice when the subject of the sentence is not important or unknown when we don't know who does the action okay so we focus on the action itself we don't know who does or who did or who is doing this action okay and let's explain more about the active voice and the passive voice when we use the active voice we start with the subject of the sentence then we put the verb then the object subject verb object subject verb object like this examples for subject my mother farmers geologists and so on some verbs my mother washes farmers grow geologists study examples for the object our clothes many crops geology so in the active voice 
We say the full sentence like this. My mother washes our clothes. Farmers grow many crops. Geologists study geology. Okay? Get the point? So, in the active voice, we start with the subject. We know who the subject is. Very good. Now, let's change into passive voice. Let's go. Here, my dear students, I show you some steps to change, to help you change from active to into passive, okay? Step one, begin your sentence with the object of the sentence, okay? Step two, use the present symbol of verb to be, which is am, is, are. Step three, change the main verb into the past participle of the verb after am, is, are. Step four, you can put by the word by, you can put the word by, followed by the subject of the sentence, okay? Let's say them again, let's read them again. Step one, begin your sentence with the object, okay? Step two, we use the present symbol of be, which is am, is, are. Step three, we change the main verb into the past participle and we write it after verb to be, after am, is, or are. Step four, we can put the word by followed by the subject of the sentence, okay? Here, let's show you this. The active voice, as we said, begins with the subject, then the verb, then the object, okay? The active voice starts with the subject, then the verb, object, subject, verb, object, okay? What about the passive voice? Very good. As we mentioned before, we begin with the object. Very good. After the object, we put verb to be. Am, is, are, followed by the past participle of the main verb. After that, we put the word by, and followed by the subject. Okay? I think it's clear now. Now, let's read the following examples and try to focus with me, please. My mother washes our clothes twice a week. Who washes, who washes the clothes? My mother. Okay, so the subject is here at the beginning of the sentence. What about this sentence, number two? Our clothes are washed by my mother twice a week. We can say our clothes are washed twice a week without saying by my mother. Why? Because it's in the passive voice. And in the passive voice, as we said, the subject is not important, okay? What is important here, that our clothes are washed, okay? Geologists study geology. Geologists study geology. Geology is studied by geologists. Geology is studied by geologists, okay? Here in number four, we started with the object of the, of the sentence, followed by verb to be, which is is, followed by the past participle of the verb study, which is studied, okay? 
Number one is active. Number four and two are passive. Okay. Let's do this exercise together. We are going to change the following sentences into passive voice. People do chemistry experiments in laboratories. Laboratories. Okay. Think. Very good. We started the sentence with the object, which is here, chemistry experiments are done in laboratories. Are here of verb to be, because experiments are plural. Done is the past participle of do. Chemistry experiments are done in laboratories. Number two, astronomers, astronomers study astronomy. Astronomers study astronomy. Very good. As you said, astronomy is studied by astronomers. Astronomy is studied by astronomers. Very good. Geologists collect unusual rocks. Geologists collect unusual rocks. Unusual rocks are collected by geologists. Very good. Unusual rocks are collected by geologists. Passive. 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 Very good. Zoologists study all types of animals. It will be all types of animals are studied by zoologists. Biologists study living things. Living things are studied by biologists. We use electricity to produce light and heat. Of course, electricity is used to produce light and heat. Mrs. Thomas gives geology lessons. Geology lessons are given by Mrs. Thomas. Passive. 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 Very good. Very good, my dear students. Very good. Let's choose the correct answer. Pay attention, please. My brother, our car every month. Checks or as a checked, by the way. Look at the, the, the beginning of the sentence. My brother, is it a subject or an object? Guess, read and guess. Very good, it's the subject. So, my brother checks our car every month. Very good. My brother checks our car every month. Very good. Number two, our car space every month. What happens to our car? It's an object. Very good. Very good, my dear students. So, we should say, our car is checked every month. We don't care who checks it. Number three, Omar space his room every day. Omar cleans. Very good. Very good. Number four, his room is cleaned. Why? Because we started with the object of the sentence. Thank you very much, my dear students. Thank you. Here, my dear students, we came to the end of our lesson. I hope you understand it well. 
and thank you very much. I'm ready for your questions. I'm waiting for your comments on Classera. See you later with all my best wishes.